there are two ways to solve this question. Uh, one is since they're talking about graphs in the xy plane, just graph these things in the xy plane. And if we do that with Desmos, we're going to see that we have two lines. Y equals x plus 20 is a line, y equals 8x is a line. And you got to scroll around a little bit, but they're going to intersect at one spot and only one spot. And, you know, it kind of looks that way, but you also kind of know how lines work, right? They don't curve. So there's no place where it's going to kind of bend back and cross again. So once we see that there are two lines, we kind of know once we find the point of intersection that, yeah, these are going to have just one point of intersection and that's it. So uh, that's one way to do it. I have no problem with that way. Um, I do think though that the SAT is pretty good at asking about stuff like this in ways that the calculator won't save you. So I am gonna review the more theoretical kind of way of, of doing this. Um, we know that these are lines right away. We know that because they have two variables and no exponents and no multiplication that could generate an exponent, right? There's, it's just an X, not an X squared. So that means we know from the start that these are lines. And for lines, for two lines, the default position, the kind of like normal situation, is that they have one intersection. That's very normal. There are two exceptions though. Uh, when the lines are parallel, they're going to have zero intersections. And when they're the same exact line, they're going to have infinite intersections, okay? Because they overlap. So we can talk about whether it's infinite or zero based upon the slope of the line because when, when they're the same, obviously they'll have the same slope, but also when they're parallel, they will have the same slope, but they will have different y-intercepts. But if we look at the slope, we can think of y equals mx plus b, and remember the m is the slope. For this one, right, what's our slope? It, there's no number in front of the x. So that means the slope is one, right? Because the number in front of the X is a one. But on the other line, it's an eight. So one and eight, those are different numbers. So those are different slopes. So those are not parallel lines, meaning it's not one of those special cases. So that's how we kind of think about this in a theoretical way. Again, this one, uh, you know, you can get by without it. You can just look at the picture. Um, but there are places in the SAT where they are really good about kind of asking this exact same fact without explicitly telling you the equations or just making it harder to graph. So just, you should memorize this if you want a top score. You do need to understand how lines work when they kind of are on the same X, Y plane. Uh, the slopes are very important. And so hopefully this little chart I drew can help you in the future.